Well, we continue to work for youth this morning by highlighting the need for foster parents right here in Indiana. Yeah, our Kelsey Anderson has done a great job this week focused on this issue. She's live this morning with the story of a young man making sure that he and his siblings are not statistics. Kelsey, good morning. Hey, good morning, Raphael. So many of us, when something bad happens to us, we want to shut it out. We don't talk about it. We just let it fade away. But to Key Morgan, he is telling his story, his story of hardships and separation from his siblings in hopes of encouraging other foster youth and also getting more people involved in foster care. Ten years old, I was removed from my mother's home uh, along with my three other siblings, uh, and we were placed into the foster care system. Takeem Morgan was in the foster care system until he aged out from kinship care to congregate care, foster care, and group homes. How many different places did you live? At least six. Separated from his siblings, the big brother lost his identity. My identity, since I was probably about seven or eight years old, was wrapped around being an older brother. Um, so at the point where we were removed, uh, from each other, we were separated from each other. That was very, very tough for me. But he says their situation made him work so much harder. I needed to go chart a path, and that's how I sort of saw myself and, and, and saw um, the challenges. Okay, you need to chart a path for your younger siblings. Morgan went to Penn State University and got a degree in marketing. He says all thanks to one adult taking the time to care about him. If I will be honest with you, if it wasn't for that one caring adult, I think that the trajectory of my life would have would have been different. So, uh, you know, one of my message, uh, one of the messages that I want to share is that one adult, one caring adult can really make a difference in the life of a child. Now he uses his degree and his experience to help other foster youth. What I'm doing now is I am uh, taking the time to use my story and my experience to be able to help others. That's foster youth as well as caring adults who may be interested but just not fully understand the space. And his advice to any child in the system is this. Life is 10% what happens to you, 90% how you react. So you really want to understand yourself and be able to um, decide how you're going to react to the 10% of life because that reaction is going to be your full life. Takeem had a fellowship this last year with Foster America, and now he's the director of a new initiative happening in Lake County called Foster Together Indiana. That's through Hands of Hope. And the, uh, the idea of that campaign is to get more people involved in foster care there in Lake County, one of our counties that sees the most need here in Indiana for foster parents. Reporting live, Kelsey Anderson, WRTV. Kelsey, thank you for sharing his story. And as she mentioned, Takeem is working on a new pilot program. It's meant to recruit more foster parents in Lake County. So let's take a wider look at where the need is the greatest right now. Last month in Marion County, nearly 2,600 kids were thrust into the foster care system. More than 800 from Allen County and 675 from Lake County, which borders Chicago. Madison, Vanderburg, and St. Joseph counties each have more than 400 kids in the foster care system. In total, across the state, nearly 12,000 young Hoosiers were placed in some sort of foster care just last month. 